All right, Bob, 716 the time. We uh, turn the reins over to Ryan Trimble to talk about what everyone's been talking online, and I, I tagged Ryan in something yesterday. Taylor Swift posted a picture of her with, with a little kitty on her. <laughs> in four, I kid you not, in four minutes, She'd like that it. picture had 144,000 likes. Isn't that disgusting? In four minutes. <laughs> You take my combined social media living, I do not have 144,000 anything. <laughs> it take like 10 years for us to get anything like that. So really. are we talking about the kitty and a Taylor this morning? We're not talking about Taylor Swift and a cat this morning. I mean, we can talk about it during the break, okay. of course. But I'm going to talk about what a lot of you guys are talking about online. This first topic, Harrison Ford recovering this morning. After this, a plane crash in California. Now, Ford was flying a vintage World War II training plane, but was forced to uh, make an emergency landing at a golf course in L.A. on Thursday. The FAA says a single engine plane crashed west of the Santa Monica Municipal Airport. Now his publicist says Ford is expected to make a full recovery. Uh, his son Ben actually uh, tweeted out this message to let his father's fans know that dad was okay. He said at the hospital, dad's okay, battered but okay. He's every bit the man you would think he is. He's an incredibly strong man. So you know we're thinking of Harrison Ford this morning as he continues to get better out there. And next up, animal rights groups across the country are celebrating this morning. As these guys are going to be free in a couple years. The biggest name in circus entertainment says elephants will no longer be used in their shows. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus says it's going to phase out elephant acts by 2018. Now, the elephants have been the centerpiece of the shows for years, but in recent years, there's been growing concern about the way the animals are treated, so they decided to go ahead and just phase them out. Last up, speaking of animals, this last video was crazy, and I'm all about it. Okay, so earlier this week, this octopus tried to get out of his tank at the Seattle Aquarium. Bob likes this. I can't do <laughs> that face. Escapedipus. Escapedipus! At the last minute as Escapedipus was making his way out, an aquarium staffer came over and sort of flipped him back into the tank. Now, the Seattle Aquarium's Tim <gasps> Kunelholm tells Q13 Fox News, actually, that the video has been, quote, blown out of proportion because the uh, octopus is a new arrival. His name is Ink, and he was just exploring his boundaries, just seeing what he could get away with. Well, Ink, now you know. And now you guys know what's trending this morning. Caroline in the Morning will be right back after this break.